Welcome to Thriving Trust Me. My name is Corey, your host, and I'm excited to be making this episode. So I was speaking to a client and we're talking about seduction. He listened to the episode and he said, well, I understand about generating attraction before getting seduction, but that transition, how do you actually transition that? And there's a few things that we used to do uh, when I was back in the day when I was a pickup artist. I remember the way I learned this was... Um, before I would be doing the attraction stuff, she'd be attracted to me. And the one of the things that I, I didn't know when to make that move for the kiss. So I didn't really know. So I would sort of talk and then we'd be talking. And as I was talking, I would then sort of tr- sort of pause, look at her and then make that move. And sometimes she would go with it. And then sometimes you'd have this resistance like, oh, dude, what, what are you doing? And it was really awkward because you, you, you've you got this good rapport going on. She's joking. You're joking. She's laughing at your jokes. She's shown some interest. So there was a, a thing that we're doing is um, where we used to, uh, within the interaction, you try and get past the touch barrier. And by getting past the touch barrier, then she becomes comfortable within your space and you touching her. So we used to do a little bit of that, but we didn't actually escalate it now. Uh, we used to call it kino or kinesthetics, or where you, you you touch her. So sometimes you just touch like a, her shoulder, for example, and you touch the shoulder mainly to emphasize a point. So you emphasize a point, touch her, and then you look into eyes, into her eyes. And it's it's just that sense of that the touch barrier has been broken. And when you do so, she feels comfortable touching you. So when you, when she's joking, maybe she might slap you or something. So you'd inter- get, try and get that interaction going. And really what you're trying to do is that verbally you're having one interaction. And then physically you're having another interaction. So you could be talking about, <laughs> about fluffy puppies with the verbal conversation. But the physical conversation you're actually uh, doing something with with that so you're escalating so for example a non-sexual touch would be on the shoulder on the arm and then you could escalate that to holding a hand which is moving from plutonic to something of sexual interest and then having a joke and then um, sort of inviting it into a hug so you joke and then you tease her and say, oh, I'm sorry. And then you give her a hug. That's another escalation to that. And then you could uh, put your arm out to see if there's any compliance. So you put your hand out. And then if she puts her hand in, then there's a... Comp- so you could escalate it. So my point being is that the transition is easier when you are already having a conversation physically. So uh, while I'm doing the attraction stuff, which is me being playful, being excited, you know, doing all these other things, allowing those uh, emotions to come up, whether they're negative or, or positive, not caring. All within that interaction, I'm doing something physically to move the things along. So, for example, if I, if I was speaking to my wife and whatever emotion she's feeling, I, I pause, put both hands on, my, on her hips and then pull her in. I'm trying to look for compliance and see how much she's compliant. So, for example, if I pull her in and she comes in easily, then I know that we are on a level sexually. Sexually, we're getting closer to where we need to be. If I pull her in and she's not compliant and she shows some resistance, then it tells me that she's not quite there sexually. So it's a way of escalating the, the situation, so increasing t- intensity physically, but at the same time, you're checking to see where she's at sexually. So if you think of it as uh, within a spectrum, how far is she to that point where you can say, yeah, she's definitely ready to have sex. So you can escalate that. So it could be non-sexual touches, for example, like I said, you know, the arms and so on. Uh, me grabbing her hips or grabbing her butt and pulling her in. Massive uh, statement of intent. So my statement of intent becomes heavier with each you know whatever i'm doing so again you can be conscious of this i'm not as conscious anymore that oh can i, I need to do this and that because a problem with that is if <laughs> i used to have this with, with clients before when we're teaching is that you would teach them this concept 
And then they'll be thinking about it. Like, they'll be like, oh shit, I need to touch her. So in because he thinks he needs to touch her, uh, it would be congruent to where he, where he's at within that conversation. So it's not natural. So you'd have this robotic arm just go up <laughs> and then you grab the shoulder and then you'll go down and then they'll be thinking, oh shit, that was weird. And the girl thinks this is weird. Or they'll try and get closer or they'll try and get compliance. And it was all forced. So it, it always comes down back down to how confident do you feel about yourself? So if you, in your mind, are thinking about rejection and thinking about, oh, I'm, I'm going to avoid getting rejected. I don't want to get rejected. I'm going to touch her, but uh, I hope I don't get rejected. And you put so much emphasis on that touch, it will come across very weird and it will kill seduction at that point. But this is the transition into seduction. So as you're transitioning, you, it's, it's, the transition is based off of what you're doing physically on her body. So what are you doing? Are you escalating those sexual touches? And then as you you get into that uh, um, seduction, you know you're in seduction when you can slow things down, look in her eyes, allow silence to come into play. Because again, most of you guys, when uh, you slow things down and then there's a bit of silence, you feel the need to feel it feel this silence and when you do it's such a weak move it's such a weak move it it because i mean most guys will try and say something romantic they say it's that sort of strange to seek approval it removes any hard work you've done sexually so you have to allow yourself to be and uh this is where i think i can give credit to hollywood they do this very well where they can pause things and make them have eye contact and nobody says anything that's the time when the tension, sort of that sexual tension really goes, intensifies even tenfold. So you have to allow those moments to come up. And when you can do that and it not feel awkward, definitely you're in seduction and definitely you're not in a place where you can take things to another place. So hopefully that answers that question. Uh, it's complex um, answer. And hopefully you could follow where I was going with it. If you want to learn more about this attraction seduction stuff especially even the transition um i'm looking to make a masterclass and i want you to go to instagram and type in masterclass the thriving underscore tribesman and when you do so it gives me an idea of how many of you are interested in me making a masterclass and again this is going to be free masterclass i will not hold anything back i will teach you everything you need to know about attraction everything you need to know about transitioning Everything you need to know about seduction, like I said, you know, the when you see on the video, I'll be able to ex at least show you exactly what you're meant to be, where you're supposed to be touching. And um, at the moment, compiling a few videos I've seen, like online, whether it's films or YouTube or whatever, where I can show you examples of what those things look like. So um, <laughs> at the moment, so I, I see a video. I take the, 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 the link, so I'm going to be able to compile some examples so you can actually have a visual so you can see what I'm talking about and maybe do a commentary of some of the things that I've seen that, that are really good uh, or in terms of video so you can have an, an, a good idea of what you need to be doing. So thank you very much, guys. I'll be speaking to you guys soon. Don't forget, go to thriving underscore tribesmen and type in masterclass and then I can... Uh, at least I'll know that you're interested in the masterclass and then I know how many of you are interested. And then when I do uh, come up with a date, I'm going to make a decision by Friday. So by Friday, if I've got enough guys, I'll send you guys also a message to say I'm going to be making the masterclass. We can uh, settle on a date and I'll probably do uh, probably a couple of hours of just coaching and giving you guys everything that you need to know. You can ask questions, everything like that. So it's going to be absolutely exciting. I'm looking forward to making that masterclass. So thank you very much, guys. See you guys soon. Take care.